Hello friends and welcome to Booking Through Life and I'm Mary and I hope you're having a continued great Jane Austen July. Um, I'm never quite sure how I feel about the book shelf tours um, but I've decided to go ahead and do one just to put some more Jane Austen content out there and uh, so I think I might do three different videos. I'm not quite sure, uh, but at least we'll have one. Uh, so I'm going to just show you the tour of this shelf right here, which houses my uh, collection of, of, well, there's a few other things scattered on the, the shelves, but this is mostly where the Jane Austen, written by Jane Austen, uh, lies and you will see that I uh, <laughs> I have a hard time uh, resisting purchasing different editions of her books <laughs> and so here we go so Jane we're gonna move you down here maybe you'll take a little rest on the top of these books while we look at the shelf and let's move these for now we'll talk about these probably towards the end and I'll put them over here. Here we go. So I wanted to have a hardback um, collection of all six of her main novels. And if I, they had one of her, of Sanditon and the Watsons bound up, uh, that would have been nice too. I don't think this, these editions have them. I should have looked it up, but there's a lovely, lovely, um, company that has um, just beautiful, beautifully bound uh, books and the covers, the, the dust jackets, they all make um, some art, they all make, a, they, when you put them together it's all one piece of, of artwork. Uh, but they're a little on the pricey side, I keep thinking um, maybe, maybe I would do that sometime for Christmas but so far I haven't done it and I was trying to see if I could find them but I don't think that I can and you don't want to see me looking down oh it is it is Juniper books and let's see if I can find oh they've got Bridgerton in there now I'm gonna see if I can find um, Jane Austen if I can find Jane Austen um, so I can show you they're they're absolutely gorgeous it'll be on my phone so yeah look at that can you see that you can see her uh, let's see if I can go there maybe you can see it kind of see it um, yeah so it's got Pemberley, you can't, there's some of the details you can't see, but you put all those books together, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's seven. Ooh. All right. You put all those books together and it's absolutely beautiful. If I end up deciding I'm getting it for Christmas, I'll let you know. But for now, I decided to collect used books. Most, all, almost all of these are used books. I like rescuing used books from the used bookstores and the, the thrift or charity shops. And so... That's how I got most of these, and that's how I got this collection. So I really liked the artwork um, on the Barnes & Noble Classics. I can't remember what year this is. It might be like 1980 or something. Um, uh, 2004, I guess. Uh, they put out these. Um, I liked the artwork. It has deckled edges, uh, so I just decided that and it looks nice. I, I kind of like that it's a different color, uh, kind of the, the cooler colors. And so, yeah, so I decided to collect these. I thought, I don't usually read the hardbacks, but it, they just look nice on the bookshelf. So I've got Emma, I'll show you the covers, in alphabetical order, Mansfield Park. That one's, oh, that's the same. I didn't just notice that. That's the same photograph or is the same artwork as, as that painting right over there. And then we have uh, Northanger Abbey, Pride and Prejudice. Wouldn't that be fun if I could find all those? Persuasion. Ooh, I'd really like that one. That's nice. 
and then sense and sensibility. So let's just keep going. We'll go this way. Then um, when I'm at the used bookstore, whenever they have these little books, I just can't pass them up. These little pocket books. So this is Collector's Library. And I have Northanger Abbey, Pride and Prejudice, and Emma. And I keep thinking I need to write this down so that if I'm if I'm in the bookstores and I, I come across um, the other three, I'll know to buy them because I'm not going to buy those double. But having said that, I do have a double of Northanger Abbey, but this is from the Oxford University Press. And I love these. I would love to find all of them in this from this publisher and this publisher. <laughs> this is um, the, who did this? This is the Collectible Classics. I guess that's who it is. Flame Tree Collectible Classics. And isn't that beautiful? And then it's got the gold edges and beautiful end papers. I don't know if you can quite see that. It's such a, it's a, it's kind of a yellowish color, so it's hard to see. And anyway, so nice. This one feels really good. I keep those on a lower shelf, but then I also have Sense and Sensibility. It doesn't have the dust jacket. It's not very pretty, um, but I don't have it in a small one. So for now, it's, it's place holding it's by Thomas Nelson and Sons. <clears throat> so I just can't, couldn't resist it. So cute. Okay. Uh, Charles Dickens, you move over there. Then last year I bought and didn't read this version, but I bought the annotated Pride and Prejudice. I would like to read the annotated version some, at some point of, of all of them if they have it. But I just loved the... Um, yeah, the artwork in here and then just all the extra little bits of information that you get when you read the annot <clears throat> annotated version. So my next read of Pride and Prejudice is going to be either that one or the manga classic version. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I can't wait, wait to read this version. I might have to read this when I come home from vacation. Ooh, look at that. Mm, that's uh, that's kind of looks dramatic there. And then um, I'm going to go down here for a minute. The other version is the Pride and Prejudice and Mar the Marvel comic. And they have really good illustrations, too. Um, adapted by Nancy Butler and Hugo Petrus. And is that who did? Oh, the artist is Hugo. So beautiful artwork. Okay, so moving on to this shelf. Then I wanted to have a paperback collection because it's easier for me. I like reading paperbacks. <clears throat> it's easier on my hands. And so I would really like to find... Um, a whole set of these. This is from Borders, which Borders is no longer um, in business. But you've got, um, I've got Pride and Prejudice, and it's got the French folds and the deckled edges. Does it have deckled? Yes, it does have deckled edges, which I love, which is, if you don't know, that's the edges are kind of uneven instead of flush. <laughs> and then I also have Sense and Sensibility. So again, I like the artwork. And you get this one on a couple of of um, Pride and Prejudice, either retellings or Pride and Prejudice books or Jane Austen books. So I'd like to get the, the whole set of that. But then um, the next one is the Pride and Prejudice illustrated by Marjolene Bastion. And I'm always gushing about these <laughs> because they're just and papers are just so gorgeous. I read this last year. It's got really, this is um, Fitzwilliam Darcy's um, letter that he wrote to Elizabeth. It's got other inserts. Here's a map of London. Um, 
this just made for a very nice reading experience. Um, this year, I ha I'm going to be starting it. I keep saying I'm starting it this week, but I really am. I've got the Sense and Sensibility copy. Currently, she only has Emma. And hopefully, she'll do the other three. Um, hopefully, people are buying these <laughs> because they're beautiful. And I would love to have a set of those. So we made it to this end. We already did Sense and Sensibility. Uh, Charles Dickens, go back over there. And then we have, um, again, another paperback version of Emma with French folds and deckled edges. And I wouldn't, I kind of liked how um, small these are. Sometimes it's a wonder. It's like, how is that the same book? <laughs> but I suppose it's type size and margins and whatnot. But of course, this is Pride and Prejudice, and this is Emma. And Emma is one of the larger books. But I would love to have um, a, this set. If I could get either one of those sets, um, once I had one, I'd probably, may, maybe not. I was going to say I'd probably start stop collecting them. But I like the, um, the Notan um, silhouettes. That's really pretty. And it's embossed. And then Vanity Working on a Weak Head produces every sort of mischief. You've got a quote in the back. So very nice. Like this copy. This is the copy that I read when I read Mansfield Park. And it is so, so yummy. And I, I found this at the used bookstore, but I think it was new. And I really, really wanted to buy a whole set but i looked on i think this is juniper books and i looked on their website and they're not making these anymore um so maybe that's why the the used bookstore had it but i i really like how they include a little card it has a jane austen quote a fondness for reading which properly directed must be an education in itself and i like that the Juniper book stamp is, is kind of cool. Um, the pages just feel really nice. They're just, they're just creamy, like reading butter, butter pages. <laughs> so I really like this. And then um, again, the, the gold and kind of, uh, is that foil? No, just gold foil. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And even if, even if I lost the, does cover even, uh, you know, even though it's plain, it's very nice on the spine. So I don't think I'll ever have a set of this, but if I did, it would be a dream come true. I'd like to, I'd like a set of this too. So this is the New York Public Library Collector's Edition. And look at that. It's got Jane Austen on the cover. This is Mansfield Park again. Um, Look at those fun end papers. Um, it's got a little bit of, there we got Jane Austen again. Oh yeah, it's got illustrations. Let me see if I can find one. There we go, just kind of pen and ink, um, deckled edges. I haven't read this copy, but this is a really nice copy as well. I wouldn't mind a set of any of those. And then I'm thinking because they, put out persuasion that maybe they maybe um who is this maybe this company has chronicle books from san francisco maybe they have the full uh six novels i'm just for whatever reason i'm just not as thrilled about this as as normal books but i couldn't resist it because <laughs> I have no self-control because of it, the inserts and because uh, Marginally and Bastin doesn't have um, um, persuasion yet. But you've got little calling cards and, and a piece of, of some a newspaper clipping. And in this bind up edition, you they give you these little envelopes that are that are. You can't see it. 
but the envelopes are attached inside so you can keep these little um, inserts nice and and crisp and clean and, and protected and they won't separate from the book so that's really nice and no no pictures definitely not as beautiful as the other copies but but nice nonetheless <clears throat> sorry for my voice it's going out a little bit then the next book I have I got this while I was visiting my son in North Dakota and it's called the beautiful Cassandra and the artwork is by Leon Steinmetz and I just liked the this just the simple brush strokes and it the whole thing is just just got a few words or sentences on each page um, but it's the story that Jane wrote for her sister and super cute I love this one and then I also will move down here. I also have, I liked, I really like this one here too. It's Jane Austen's The History of England by a partial prejudiced and ignorant historian. <laughs> and this one has her writing as well as then it just has it. So, you know, her writing is kind of hard to read. So you can just read it in, in, in type in a normal book form. And this is very cute. And there's, I think Cassandra did the illustrations. So I think you get the illustrations, yeah, in Jane, with Jane Austen's hand, handwriting. So that's really cool. I don't think they're with the, no, you don't get them again in the, in this portion. Recommend that book. Very good. Um, then let's see. Oh, down here. I have, um, like I said, I, I have no self-control. Uh, here's Pride and Prejudice, and it's an illustrated junior library edition. I like their, their mark there. It's got the painted green edges, and it's kind of a chunker, but it's got nice illustrations. And yeah, I liked the illus I like the spine, and I like the, it go the wraparound illustration. And so I'll have to read this version at some point, but couldn't resist that. And then let's see, none of those. Then uh, let's see, um, another one that I couldn't resist <laughs> is Pride and Prejudice Reading and Training. This is an inter intermediate version. And so it's it's Pride and Prejudice if you're taking a reading or a literature class. Intermediate, maybe high school, maybe uh, junior high. So there's um, there's questions on verbiage and um, explain why Mrs. Bennett goes to Netherfield, why Darcy believes he, that he can't fall in love with Elizabeth. So that, yeah, there's different activities. So maybe I'll do that one sometime. It's kind of fun. Or maybe I'll do a quiz with those. Um, I don't know. Anyway, and then I didn't show that I have in Marvel, I had the Pride and Prejudice version, and I also had the Sense and Sensibility. They came out as comic books, I think, in five parts, but then they also did a bind up. So I have, I really like this smaller um, paperback version better than the hardback. But this was what was available, so I bought it. And then you probably know from my previous videos that I have uh, the fourth comic book of Northanger Abbey. So I want to get the full bind up of that. Okay, then I have two more Pride and Prejudice. And these are um, just old uh, mass marketing books. This one I got because... I didn't own Pride and Prejudice there for a while. I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And I wanted to reread it. And so I just picked up a really cheap paperback at a, I either found it at a bookstore or a, or a, a thrift store. And um, I, I actually kind of like it. Uh, but unfortunately, I read it several times and it it's um, degraded, but this is the 1959 um, um, edition. 
So I'm keep, I am keep. I thought about getting rid of it, and I'm like, you know what? I kind of have a sentimental attachment to it. And then I was at a, a charity shop, a thrift store, and I found this one. This is a 1961 version, and I could not resist it. Look at that cover. Isn't that great? You got a peacock, a lock, and then is this supposed to be Elizabeth? I have decided that it's Mrs. Bennett and not Elizabeth because... That's not what Lizzie looks like. Uh, she kind of looks like the mother from Bewitched. <laughs> As, I think her name was Esmeralda. Um, anyway, so I'm like, no, I've got to have this cover, but that's not Elizabeth for me. And then let's see. I think the last one I have book I have to talk about. Well, I have two things left to say is that I also have the Oxford World's classic bind up of Catherine and other writings. So this would be her juvenilia and some of her letters. And I, I have Sanditon and the Watsons. I think I put it out in my little free library. So I might have to go out there and snatch it <laughs> before someone takes it. So I'm planning on reading some of this this month. And then the last things I want to talk about are I do have the Rosamund Pike's um, performance of the audio version of Pride and Prejudice. I think she also does Sense and Sensibility. I'd like to get that as well. I have the music soundtrack. And then here, if you just need a quick fix of Pride and Prejudice, I have uh, Little Miss Austin. <laughs> Um, art by Allison Oliver and hey my cat's scratching on my my bed <laughs> my guest bed and then the the counting part was put together by Jennifer Adams and so yeah you can just get uh, a quick Mr. Bingley Mr. Darcy just a real quick you know little bit of of uh, Pride and Prejudice I like that four marriage proposals um, Lizzie has three of the four. <laughs> um, anyway, super cute. So I think that's my Jane Austen, written by Jane Austen collection. Um, maybe next time we'll go through retellings and or I haven't decided. Should I do retellings and retellings I've read and ones I haven't read and do them separately or do... Um, Nonfiction. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how this video goes. It's long. Who would have known I could talk that much, this long about um, those books? Anyway, those are my books. Until next time, I hope all your books are good books, and I'll see you again. Bye.